Well, you two, I'm off the side of the denial, the, not, the denial loop, and there's UP 1996, the Southern Pacific unit. I finally got it. My third UP Heritage unit ever caught on film, and uh, it's a beauty. And then over here, let me zoom out. Over here, we have the California Northern Gen set, and but main, the main thing is 1996. Finally got it on film. And what a great catch, and we're gonna go out to the hut and see Power what we move get. coming. Sorry it's so shaky, I'm on the fence trying to get this shot. I can't even see when I'm filming. back to the yard. Is he coming on the close track? I don't think so. Maybe. Uh, nope. Or yep. And there goes that cutter power back into the yard. Man, it was the train off to the departure lead. He's gonna be diverging on a track one. Oh nice, two empty coal hoppers. It's a manifest. Forty-three ninety-five. Good crew. And forty-two twenty-one. And I'll get it because I'm about to run out of battery. Uh, pause it real quick. Here's the rest of the manifest. The corridor hit a car uh, down the track, so he's not going to be here for a while. But the corridor had hit a car, and uh, all the passengers are here waiting for the corridor, so that's not very good. Sorry for the passengers. And here comes the end of it. Dad. You know the uh, capital corridor that comes here? It hit a car down the track. Yeah, the cor the corridor that was supposed to be here about five minutes ago hit a car down the track. I think there. I think they said on the scanner there was like five people in the car. GAX at the last car. Glare of the sun, YouTube.
And as you can see over there, right over there, there's a back of an, the back of an old Dash 8 that they stored over there. And then they have some old SC70Ms and a couple of SC60s. But the main reason I came out here was to get those Dash 8s and I got them. I got some pictures last night. And then the corridor hit a car down the track that way. You can't really, you can't see it because it's on the other side of the curve. And that train's going north. And then we have a light power move down there. And then 1068 over there. Some action in the engine facility. So yeah, I'm, it's pretty action packed today. Hopefully. And there go those, there goes that, there goes that manifest. The remote control SD40s. I haven't seen these in a while. They don't have anything behind them, they're just doing some switching, I guess. And they told you, uh, Antrak hit a car, and he's down on the other side. And then there's EP1068 uh, SSW patched. Yeah, there, yeah, the remote control SD40s. It's a little rare thing to this side of the yard. Uh, Y619 is leading. Oh no, they're GP30s. And 636. This might be the thing, uh, oh no. I was thinking that this was the train for the Rockland Rocket. Here come the GP30s. No. Close track. Jeeps were hauling some button. There go those. I've finally feet. done it. Even though they, there's no engine and it's not moving, here's the Ringling Brothers Borman Bailey Circus Train, the Blue Circus Train, and it's doing a show. And here's its train parked right here off of Longview Drive. Unbelievable. I cannot believe I got it, and this is my first time seeing it. The Red Circus Train is down doing a show in Texas, and uh, it's. Right after, this is like right after UP 1996 left. And the front of the train is right over there. The animal cars are down there. And the flatbeds are on the other side. Oh my goodness. It's, ama it's amazing. And uh, we're going to go out to Roseville a little later to see what we can get. But here's the circus train sitting right here. Oh my goodness. Unbelievable. And... I mean, the circus train's gonna sit here, so we might actually get it departing a little bit later. Um, should be departing on Sunday night. So I don't know. We'll probably come back and see if these cars are still here and what they're doing. So um, I'll see you in Roseville in a bit. Here Unbelievable. This is repainted SP unit 6417. Long live the SP, but it's repainted in the UP colors.
Cars. end of it? No. You see the engines at the back? Tomorrow moves CSX. Oh wow. the end of it. No helpers. Wow, that's surprising. That's it. I'm gonna... And surprisingly, that manifest had no helpers. A little interesting. And if you look over here, there's the old Dash 9 that was on with the SC90. And then behind the rail cars, if you can see, 
There's da there's a few dash eights over there. And it's just kind of amazing what these engines look like. They're getting they're gonna be repainted and reassembled. So and then over here on this side, obviously 1005 is over there with the other Jeep. And there they go in their respected directions. And there so goes that power move coming. And then I think after this power move, we got a, um, a Z train coming that's doing its crew change over there. And then I think we possibly might have two trains coming from Benny Junction. Is he flipping a UE? No, he's not. Seventy-eight, eighty-nine, fifty-two, seventy-five, and a very dirty. Uh, a very dirty fifty-two, seventy. What the heck? Look, right where it says fifty-two, it says bruised, bruised ego. That that. That's interesting. And we'll get this power move going back into comes power move back into the yard. Finally getting clearance. I don't know what took him so long. See down there, there's something coming out of the yard, most likely another power move. And there goes that power move back into the yard, and surprisingly we have, we have an inbound coming from Newcastle, and then we got two trains coming from Benny Junction, so it's pretty active today, and there goes this that This is a little interesting, here comes a two hour late California Zephyr, and I think he has a private car on the back. I wanted it to be the one with 822, but I forgot he was stopping in Denver. And uh, he was spotted in um, Montana. But um, he had 10 private cars on the back. It was a little bit interesting. Um, but yeah, here comes a two hour late California Zephyr. What engine's leading this? Looks like, looks like four. Is it? Oh, it is four. This is the engine that led our Coast Starlight, our second trip. One eighty two. Yeah, he's got a private car in the back. What do we have here? <laughs> Dining car. Oh wow. AG Target. Wow, that's that's an interesting car. And there goes that Zephyr with the interesting private car into the Here station. Comes manifest off the Y. I thought it was gonna do the Westbound Autos. Eighty six forty five. an 
empty coal train. Flashing yellow. Goodness gracious, this thing was making some noise, but look down here. You got a flashing yellow on track one, don't know what this is about. And what a great catch of that, I guess, empty rock train, this I guess, the and there time, it goes into this the This is yard. my first time seeing this since I saw UP7964, but here comes a train on track one from the Amtrak station. Givo leader, no surprise. Oh, just kidding, tier four leader. Huh. It's going on track one. Intermodal. 2621. Sixty-three seventeen other unpat uh repainted oh no 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 no. Oh, jeez. Ah, Intermodal, that stack didn't look that steady. Yes, sir. Two of them. Seventy-eight. 
49 and 7402. Okay, that was my first time hearing the fake horns. Sorry. It's not my fault. Oh, an ace leader, nice. 89.95. train DPUs that I saw. second unit was open. Yeah, I didn't even notice. What? I know, because I was filming. Here's the end of it. That was a lucky catch, and there goes that uh, Intermall train east towards Colfax. I'm going to wait for the crossing to go. The train. Uh, AC, oh, 6900 the AC 6000. We pursued this train from Rockland, and here it is. It's an inbound, it looks like. Yeah, we all thought it was a grain train, but it's a man. Boy, is my oh oh yeah, it is. Oh, air leak. No, 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 no. It's just uh, as a restricted speed into the yard. They only stop uh, here if they go into emergency, but that's very rare. 
He just has a little stro a slow order. Okay, yeah, the end of it's coming up. I think. Oh yeah, I recognize these cars. The end of it's coming up. Oh, nice Chicago Northwestern. Uh huh? Uh, Chicago Northwestern green car. It's an old. That's an old guy. Oh, I think I see the end of it. Uh, I can't tell. Nope, not quite. Oh, here it comes. Here comes the end of it. <coughs> yeah, I remember these cars. Here comes the end of it. There's a tier four in the back. You're lucky there's no eastbounds coming. If there was an eastbound, you'd be in for you'd be in for a treat, but then you'd also be in for some major trouble. Because then there'd be another train going by. Oh, I got it. And there goes that inbound into the yard. Wait for the crossing to go up. We got one coming off the Y. Oh, nice! Looks like a nice leader. Yep, ace leader. Oh, it's the Westbound Autos. Nice. Yeah, he's going by the Amtrak station. He has a diverging yellow.
Oh, nice. Burlington Northern. PSX. It's really moving. Creaking along and the rail, it's hitting the rail at an angle. Oh, here's the end of it. Ace shoving. There goes that westbound auto track. Uh, west this grain train is absolutely flying. The rear DBUs are coming up, but holy crap, he is flying. Here comes the rear DBU. 1996 is over in the yard. I'll go get that in a second. Rear DBU. UPG Evo. Holy crap, he was moving. We chased that thing from the denial loop and we just got the end of it. And there goes that grain train east towards Colfax. We got wow, this power move that. coming. He's got a yell and then we got another train coming from Rockland. I'll probably have my train up on a tripod in a second because my friends just got here. But 96 is over in the end of the facility and I'll go get that in a second. Well, let's see what goody this has. Looks like just a Jeevo and an AC4400. Nothing special. The train that's coming from Rockland is going to be on track two. Oh no, just kidding, it's two Jeevos. Wow, he's really... It's really bright. Jeevo's really clean too. Eleven and fifty-two seventy-one. Oh, there! Here comes the train from Rockland. It's over. I think it's just coming around the corner, or it's just a light from the power move. I can't tell. Hey, I think the Z train's coming. I thought I just saw his headlights, or it might have just been the power move. 
I can't tell. All right, YouTube, this is anyway, gonna be on my last handheld video because my friend's gonna go get the tripod for me. But here comes this power move, and he's gonna he is uh, flipping a U-turn on the Y. He has a diverging yellow, and then that the train from Rockland still hasn't come yet, so we don't know where it is. But it was in the block when we saw it. So uh, here comes this power move. Ooh, kind of looks like we got a couple interesting units on it. SC70 and leader. 1996, as I said earlier, is over in uh, the engine facility, so we'll go get that in a few minutes. Sorry, turn my head for a second. Thirty-eight fifty-two. Six oh eight ninety nine twenty three. <laughs> uh, nine twenty seven and twenty five thirty. Yeah, he's flipping a UE on the Y. And there goes the power. And what's that over there? Look at the light next to the SP four. That's, yeah, a, that's what I was thinking. Oh, is he coming on the close crack? Yeah. Oh, crap. Actually, no, I'm not going to move it. Goodness. God, it scared me. There goes that no, power. No, Maybe no, RE2. They, they don't go. Even the highball, they won't go back. Here are the SD40s again. Oh. I don't keep saying SD40s. Oh, that second one's an XSP unit, I think. It doesn't have the giant thing in the back from the original SP lights. But look how old it is. This is actually kind of rare to the other side of the yard. YouTube, as these SP40s doing their work, here comes the power move. Finally getting clearance out of here. Hey, we have kind of a meet here. I guess as you call this a meet. Power move meeting the uh, SP40s. Are they going on the close track? Uh, nope. YouTube as this go here, here's these uh, switchers doing some switching. Maybe after this Z train passes, I'll go, we'll go over to 1990. I'll show you. I have no idea where the Z train is. He's still up in Lockland. Oh wow, he has a couple of coal hoppers, nice. Oh, they're loaded. Yeah. Those are wood. Wood chippers? And... Oh, nice. Which one? Uh, 96. Oh, where are those, where are those big clunks? I want to hear those. He's heavy, that's why he's not clunking. Oh, okay, yeah. We're just going to give it as much power as they normally do. Oh, yeah, see, look. They're still... Because none of those cars are moving yet. That's so weird how that looks. How what looks? The, the cars that are just sitting there. There they go, now they're moving. I th these were always moving over here. No, back there, it's far in. Oh, yeah, those are finally moving. That just looks weird. I don't know, but I just started drinking Arizona the other day, and I've always I've loved it now. Grape's the best. 
I like the second to first punt. So, uh, yeah, I, after these SD4s, we could probably walk over there. Alright. Uh, can, can you hold the tablet? <laughs> Oh yeah, he's yeah he stopped there, and then there's another one that crossed over. Probably to get around him. Yeah. You see, these SD forties are gonna take a while, and then we're gonna go over and get a couple pictures of ninety six. <laughs> Sorry, I've been saying that so lately, but waiting for them to get here so I can go get some pictures. The SD forties are going really slow. Oh shoot, I'm at thirty percent. <laughs> oh, an old southern box car. Weird lighting array was fun to build. Oh, did you actually, did you build 4800 exactly? Uh, I built, uh, it doesn't have the colors and the paint scheme and uh, everything, but the uh, body design and that thing looks almost like Oh, there's something going on in your table. Oh, hey, that was nice. That was good, I got that. I think there's something going under Hagen. Yeah, I think so. Yes, there is. Right now, BNSF and, uh, you need to quit wandering away. Kill our hot spot again. Here you go. Not my bra. All the way over here. What the hell? He's gonna go get 96. Of course he here, is. Here, what? At the end of the platform. After these SD40s pass through my camera, we'll go with him to get 96. Wait, where's my? Oh, yeah, I was about to say, where's my Arizona? Oh, wait, wait. oh I threw it onto the track. Got ran over by the power move. Wait for me, okay? No, I'm gonna leave you here. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. This train's almost there. Actually, no. You, all right, YouTube. Here go these. There go. Oh my God. These, these trains are taking forever to go by. Here go these SD40s. Trying to get out of the way. They're going really slow. Alright, YouTube, here goes the, there goes the SD40. Train. Oh no, he's highballing. Look at him. I don't say highballing. Are you sure? Maybe a little faster. Let's see, what do you have? Uh, maybe a ride. Yeah, you got Nothing special. Oh yeah. I wonder if he's going to go broken down. Hey, cross the yellow. I Look. I know. I was looking for a power point. Oh. oh yeah, he's making up time. I doubt it. Where's the other one then? Because how, how would that get in front of the other one? He'd be on track one. The other one could have been shot up the From the other, I mean the uh, public truck trailer. Oh no, maybe not. So I'm broken down all those things still in all this. That's what I thought. Oh, look. Yeah, he's done. Yeah, he's done. 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 He's
7603. He was definitely make up making up lost time like that grain train in there. Power move coming. Oh come on! Look. Oh no no no! It's an ace leader. Well, it's an ace uh, shoving, but. I swear, if 1982, yeah, that's never, that won't happen. I doubt that will happen. <laughs> There's a new one. That was a 9003. That was like one of the that was one of the newer ones. And there goes that power move. Right. <laughs> here, 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 here comes this power move that we saw earlier. Flip a U-turn on the wall. Oh, that guy's going out. I'm yeah, moving. it's an outbound. I don't see any cars behind him. It looks like another power move. I think. Oh, maybe it is a power move. Is he going on? Is he? Is this guy gonna go on this close track? He's on track two, going into the departure lead. Is he coming on this track though? This isn't track two. It's track one? Yes. It goes one, two, and then the third track doesn't actually have a number. Three. No, 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 no. That is a brand new smack and ace right there. I'll try and get a picture of it. That is nice. Oh, that ain't a good shot. Yeah, he did. It's ace 45, 45, not 45. There goes the, there goes that power move. Attention, drop the red bike. <laughs> All right, YouTube, we got this power move coming. I don't think that will ever be green. That will be messed up. How do you know? It just would be. Green. There's a green light though. Mm -hmm. Yeah, look. Yeah, there is a green light back there. God dang it. <laughs> but we didn't. Hey, look, it just turned. Look, it flashed. And then it went back to a solid. Oh. It looks like an SD60M, maybe. Yeah, it has a lower ditch like. Yeah. Oh, no, maybe an SD59. The, the rebuilt 60. Yeah, yeah. You know, I haven't seen any more 60s. I have. There's a couple. Of, there was a couple of there at a time. 99.25. Oh, we, I think we saw these units uh, on that other power move. Yeah, I'm 46 and 4560. Yeah, we saw those units earlier on that other power move that we saw. The first one I was saw. And there goes that power move. Alright, YouTube, here come these. Here comes the SC70M and the rebuilt SC60. When they do the reschedule, they do. They go through the canyon. Wait, you think they're planning the reschedule for next year? Here they come. Oh. Man, those lights are bright. There go those two units. 